You know, the way the educational system is built in the United States, students don't spend a whole lot of time thinking about who they are and what they want and, and who they want to be. Um, they, they sort of passively accept the curriculum that's given to them. And one of the things that we've learned as we've created more interdisciplinary courses that focus on depth uh, rather than speed of coverage or volume of content is that students can create a kind of path that takes them from ninth grade through 10th grade all the way through senior year in a way that they can get really excited about. In the ninth grade, those foundational courses of biology, history, English really set them up well for their 10th grade year where they'll have more choice in their academic schedule. So they begin to look into what they're interested in and what they might want to pursue. And two years of pretty intense drafting and revising and meeting one-on-one -on -one with their teachers set them up beautifully for the 11th grade where all juniors take an American Studies course, which is an interdisciplinary course where students are having to synthesize information and make connections. So the bar is, is, is pretty high. The teachers inspire kids to go deeper and they really encourage curiosity and connections rather than kind of just thinking about what the material is. If you realize that something's connecting to another thing, it's almost like it's Christmas for them. In my advanced biology class, I have many students who are also taking um, anatomy and physiology. And so during the same semester, they've doubled up on science and they're having both um, the anatomy aspects and then also the more of the honed in biochemical um, discussions about these molecules that they're also talking about in anatomy and physiology. Everything that happens in junior year really comes to fruition in their senior year where seniors are pretty much in charge of